Hi, Division 6. So for science this week, we're going to keep looking at simple machines and we're going to make a small little project this week on the pulley system. And what we're going to, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a mini flagpole. So for this activity, uh, for this experiment, you'll need a piece of cardboard, a kind of a strip of cardboard like this. Um, I cut out a little bit more here just so I can make it a stand, so I can make it to support my flagpole so I can, it can stand upright like this. Um, you'll need to create a flag. I did a Mario flag, but you can do whatever flag you'd like. Um, like a Canada flag it would be awesome. And you need two kind of um, round objects. So I went with bottle caps here and that should be fine. Um, you can use smaller bottle caps. Um, there are other options as well. If you're not sure about whether your object will work, feel free to ask. Uh, bottle caps should be fine. Um, th Thumbtacks would be really good too, but it would be poking out the other side. That might be a little bit dangerous unless you have a piece of putty or clay that you can um, um, stick on the back so then the pokey side won't be dangerous, okay? Uh, you also need some string, scissors, and a glue stick. All right, first thing, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue on my bottle caps. One at the top of my flagpole and one at the bottom. And what this is going to be doing is it's going to act like the wheels of my pulley system. Okay, my pulley system is gonna go like this. So once I glue these on, my string's gonna go around these wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these two bottle caps down. One at the top, one at the bottom. Secure it with some more glue on the outside. Yeah. Two days later. So now that my glue has dried, I've actually decided to change it just a little bit. I'm actually going to use these thumbtacks to help me. Um, I'm going to stick these thumbtacks onto the one on each of the bottle caps, and they will act as kind of the pulley system for my flagpole so um i'm gonna do this because then this will hide the pointy side inside the bottle cap but also this little lip will prevent my rope or string to fall off the pulley system so that's really helpful so uh, if you have a smaller bottle cap it'll be easier but you'll just have to press in the thumbtack you might need to get some help for this if you can perfect here you go and I'm gonna put one at the bottom. There you go. Now I can grab my string and I can measure how much string I need to wrap around my pulley system. So I'm gonna wrap around my thumbtacks here. Want to just measure so that it's a little snug but it's not super tight. Cut a little extra to tie the string so I have some extra to be able to tie the string together. Just like this, and then you can tie two knots just to hold it in place. Oh no, my glue is not dry enough. So make sure you spend a let, let the glue dry a little bit longer. But I will make do and I'll let it sit after I tie this knot. If you have stronger glue or super glue, that'd be great. Just be careful using it. You might need somebody to help you do that. All right, don't worry about this mess of a knot. I will fix it later when the glue dries. All right, so now that it's dried a bit more, I'm gonna grab my flag and I'm going to tape it 
to the knot side just to cover it up a little bit and give it a little bit extra support there. It's just a little piece of tape here. Sticky side sh should be facing upwards. And I take my flag and stick it straight on there. If you need extra tape to help hold it, you are more than welcome to add a little bit more tape. So maybe I can flip it around and add a little bit more tape just to give it a little bit more support there. Perfect. Now I'm going to make my base here it's just to hold it so I can make it stand up right. So I make my stand like this just so I can hold it and I will add some glue there to help me hold that. All right, as you can see, I finished my flagpole here. I made just a little stand at the back to hold it upright. I'm just going to talk a little bit about how the pulley system works and why this is a pulley system. So, of course, this is a very small version of a pulley system and a small version of flagpole. Um, if you see, we have a flagpole at Nelson and um, it's the same style or it's the same system where we pull one end to pull the flag up. In order to bring the flag down, you pull the other way. So why is this a simple machine? Why is this, why is a pulley helpful to us? Well, what's happening is if we have something heavier than a flag, let's say uh, a bucket of water or a big block of concrete, how do we get it up high? It's really hard to lift something straight up, right? So for example, I have uh, this ball here. Pretend it's a big, big boulder. It's really heavy. How can I get this to up here? Well, my effort can either be lifting it straight up or having a pulley system where my effort is just pulling something downwards to bring the load up. And that's why it's a simple machine. It makes it easier when our effort is decreased for big loads. So for example, this flag would be our load and our effort would be pulling downwards.